There was a point in my life where I was really interested in having my name on the street. KWS was something that worked. You couldn't really pin it down to, to any other existing words. You kind of see someone's work and you build up this image of them. I mean, one of the main things that kids are enticed by graffiti is you get to build an identity totally outside of yourself. You could be like a kid from Connecticut. You could come to New York and smash it. You could have a presence that, you know, could project to people. And then they meet you and you're like the skinny blonde kid from Connecticut. The fundamentals of what I was doing then are the same. It's just my, my opportunities changed, my outlets changed. I grew up in Jersey City. A lot of my time was spent watching cartoons, things like Smurf and Simpsons. You kind of grow up and you see these like cartoons that exist and you just picture these massive companies but then you forget that how they start and how they start with a single person and a lot of my work is like just just taking these existing things and bringing it back to one person and the reason why I started doing painting over the advertisements like you know in the mid 90s or early 90s is because it at that time it was kind of a shocking image to have like these cartoony graphic flat paintings on top of advertisements but that's kind of all changed in the past 10 years. We treated the ID thing as if I found it the night before it went to the printers. And then I just kind of like drew over it. I met Matt Jones in 96 or something. And then first trip I went out, he was living at his parents. I stayed with them. I had actually painted over one of the covers in their magazine. It was like a thank you for letting me stay. We spoke about doing this issue and you know it's really easy to say something and then it's a different story to actually get it done. Originally, I, I was going to do some work in it, and I wanted to interview Nigo. Through Nigo, I met Pharrell and those guys, and I was talking to Kanye. I told him about the issue, and he was like, dude, I want to be in it. It just grew into this thing, and then suddenly, like, all these guys that are working together in roundabout ways are, like, in one issue. With the issue with ID, they would send me the PDFs. I'd print them out on the light box. I'd have a piece of paper and do ink drawings over it. Then I'd scan that stuff in, bring it back, lay it in how I want it, and send it over to them to, to do like their Photoshop stuff. The stuff on the street, I've always, like I'd put a lot of time into it, but I know that it's getting stolen in a day or a few days. And to do something that I know that people can keep and will reach a lot of people, I'm, I'm very interested in. There was a point when I was younger when I was kind of conflicted with you know, you do street stuff, but you want to do painting, but I also like to make product, and these, some of these things are taboo in these other circles, and, you know. And then I just said, fuck it, and I wanted to, like, really explore if I could get through life making what I want to do and exploring it. For me, I'll be successful, and then I could die, and that's, I'm gone, so who cares? I think in this day and age, there's all these opportunities and tools you can use. It'd be silly not to. I want to know about the things I'm living with, and I want to explore them. Like, I don't need to use cause at this point, I'm not doing illegal stuff. But, um, it, it gives me this, like, objective look at what I do. I feel like, you know, I'm doing it, I'm here making it every day, but I feel like it's something else. Or doing a project like ID. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm, in, this, I'm in this space doing work, but I know it's gonna go out and, and hit all these other people. That's how I get my stuff out, but I don't really care to be outgoing, you know. I'd rather the work be the outgoing side of my life. I'm just navigating my way around the things I'm living with and kind of just putting stuff back out there and building a vocabulary. It's like a video game I'm stuck in. You know, you don't have to be there, you don't have to be on the couch doing it, but you want to be. It's what I want to do at this point in my life.